I was in here the other day buying plates, um, and I realized that I don't have like a true uh, slicer for, because again, at Peasant, we're doing like just like clean fish, olive oil. Wow. I can't believe how light it is. And then this knife in here, this is what I use at home. Yeah, you can, you can move the uh, glass, yeah. Yeah, so this is the knife that I use at home, and I've probably had it now, you know, people ask me all the time, like, what's a good knife to, to have at home? And I always recommend that they first get something a little heavier before coming to Corinne, <laughs> just to kind of, you know, kind of beat it up a little bit. Um, but then this is always the knife that I recommend um, for the home cook, because it's, it's, it's lightweight. Um, I always appreciate the lip on the handle, especially for home cooks. It kind of tells you where to put your pinky. You know, I was maybe uh, 23, so we're talking 20 years ago. Oh, man. <laughs> um, but I remember coming in here and it was like, you know, uh, like nothing I'd ever seen. Um, and, you know, not just the knives, but, you know, just all the, the beautiful plateware. And Mr. Sugai, I think, was like sharpening at the time. Yeah. And it was just like, it was like, you know, wow, I can't believe this exists in New York City. Then I, years later, ended up getting on the, the next Iron Chef. Yeah. And then in the final, <laughs> I was battling um, Chef Marco Canora, and there was this one shot where the camera zoomed in on, on my knife, and I think, if my memory serves me right, you guys donated knives for the City Meals on Wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was using... We don't have that. That was a special knife. I, I think it was this. It's that knife with the Corinne. Yeah, it said, it. so it said Corinne on it. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the camera zoomed in, and I was... I was chopping leeks and you know it was clear as day it's Corinne so I mean Iron Chef it kind of became like a tradition like every you know if I if I was going into a, a battle you know again um, not just um, to have a new knife but also to kind of promote Corinne you know I, I you know I, I loved doing that and it was very natural for me so I would kind of come in and get knives not just for me but for my sous chefs and um, you know just walking through here like there's just you know, some memories here. I know that, um, you know, this was one of the knives that I got specifically um, because I had to break down um, a, a mangalitsa pig, um, which is a, a big, th and the skin on a mangalitsa is about this thick. So I needed something that had, um, you know, not just a sharp blade, but it had to be heavy. And I remember, again, you can go back to the battle to watch it, but it, it, it cut right through. You know, and now we're coming up on, wow, 14, 14 years as neighbors. And, you know, um, you know, it's, it's just the, the relationship has grown and grown and grown. And it's, it's just been an honor and a pleasure to, to be a neighbor and a friend.